Greetings, Ian from RTL here. Welcome to another classic album review. And this week we're going to look at an album that's more of a covers album, but you look in any list of classics albums from the 70s or 1974 when it was released, this album always seems to appear. So I thought, why would an it's a good album? I've got it, and I thought, why would a cover an album that's full of covers be so popular? So I thought I'd have a good listen to it and pull it apart. So the album we're talking about is from an out band called Humble Pie. Of course, formed in 1969 by Steve Marriott, one of the very first supergroups of the 60s. Had some great stuff. Steve Marriott, of course, was in it. Peter Frampton was in it. Greg Riley from Spooky Tooth. And a 17 year old drummer called Jerry Shirley from the Apostolic Intervention. Really good band. Uh, got a few of their albums. We may be doing a uh, actual album ranking of these at some stage. So the album we're talking about is their seventh album that was released in uh, 1974, and it's called Thunderbox. Now, it was not released here in the UK. It was only released in America, and there's 12 songs on it, seven of them are covers. One of them being I Can't Stand the Rain, and John Lennon once refer to this as the perfect single so it was never released in the UK which is very hard but I did manage to get a copy of this so um, now the word Thunderbox it actually is it shows a keyhole through in which a woman can be seen sitting on the toilet uh, which is the word Thunderbox is a 17th century slang word for a toilet. So there you go, a little bit of history as well. So who have played on this album? Well, it's a bit of a classic lineup. We've got Steve Marriott on guitar, harmonica, keyboards and lead vocals. Dave Clemson on guitar, slide guitar and backing vocals. Greg Ridley on the bass. Jerry Shirley on the drums. Guests on here. Some interesting guests. Mel Collins as ever, but he's not playing a saxophone this time, he's playing the horns. And there's a backing group called the Blackberries, which is Carlina Vo Williams, Vanetta Fields, and Billy Barnum. It was recorded at the Otic Sound somewhere in G east of Guatemala <laughs> and produced by the band themselves. So the first track on here is the title track and it's called A Thunderbox which is an original. It's the best track on here. It's a great rock bluesy track. I love it. One of, actually one of my favourite tracks by Humble Pie. That's the reason I've, I've got this album because it's got one of my favourite, it's got two of my favourite tracks by Humble Pie on it. Um, then we have the first of the covers and it's called Groovin' with Jesus which was done by Jean Barge and Bernie Schwartz the original is good but this has got so much guts and furore in it it's a great vocal from Steve Marriott brilliant then they do a cover of Anne Peebles I Can't Stand the Rain it's a brilliant version of this song <laughs> probably one of the best versions of this I've ever heard it's great vocal. The guitar playing in it is fantastic. It's a great version. I do this song a lot of justice. Then we get Anna, Go to Him, which was done by Arthur Alexander 
this is a better version than um, the Beatles. It's absolutely belting version this is. Then we get my other favourite track by Humble Pie, No Way. It's a great bluesy track. I love the guitar work on this. Then we get another original track, Rally with Ali, which is a great title. Again, great rock music here. Uh, great guitar work here from Dave Clemson. Fantastic track. Then we go, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Absolute belter. Hammond organ on here from Steve Marriott. Fantastic. Then we get £99, which is a Don Bryant song. It's a great version of this. Great solo. Then we get Everyday Single. Fantastic track. Dave Clemson wrote this. Great guitar work is good. No Money Down. Another stonking version of this track by Chuck Berry. Wonderful track. Then we get a track called Drift Away. Now Drift Away is a song by Mentor Williams. I like that version. But then Doobie Gray done it and it became the biggest hit. Their version is brilliant. The Humble Pies. But my favourite version of this is by Gallagher and Lyle. It's a great song anyway. I mean they're all good it's whoever has sung it has done it well. But the best version to me is by Gallagher and Lyle. Great track to cover. Then we get Oh La Di Da. Which is Phil Mi Philip Mitchell. It's even better than the original. This has got some more growl and gruts from the band. Unbelievable cover. Anyway. I never really understood why they didn't release in the U UK because it's good. The, the critics panned it, but the original songs on this album from Humble Pie are absolutely brilliant. The covers are some of the best covers I've ever heard, um, but the f but the fans loved it. I mean, you got Mel Collins on here, players playing the the horns, he's, he's played on everything you got some great singing from these backing vocalists called the Blackberries uh, great combination um, does it does it deserve its classic status yes it does because the, tr the, the original tracks are just great great stuff from Humble Pie I don't know why there's, it got poo-pooed by the critics. It's not if it was, it's not a whole album of covers. It's a, a fair chunk. But great covers. You go and listen to the originals and then put these versions on. You go, wow, they really have put some beef into them. So, um, yeah, I like this album. And I really think it does deserve to be... Up there, especially one of the best albums of 1974, which is in the top a lot of the top tens. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of eight out of ten. Go and check it out. It's on Spotify if you want to go and have a listen to it yourself. Okay, that's all for today. Um, but a busy day tomorrow. We've got for you an album ranking of a of request. Of trapeze and tomorrow's retro ranking is ACDC's non album songs and then I've got a special and this time I'm doing it with Joe Jamfrey from Joe's Vinyl Universe and we're going to go through our top 10 Rush singles that'll be out tomorrow probably around about 10 o'clock tomorrow night by the time we've recorded and I've edited it. So a busy day for me tomorrow. So whatever you're doing today, have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow for a super Tuesday. 
bye for now.